actually, of course, all of you are special. But I would like to formally acknowledge the Honourable Tony Burke, MP, our guest speaker. Thank you, Tony. And our excellent awards recipients, Laura Tingle, and Mark Downey, who's accepting the award on behalf of the newsreader. Thank you very much, Minister Burke, for taking the time in your very busy schedule to come and speak at this event today. The soul naturally gravitates to imagination. Uh, we gravitate to imagine to try to simplify and uh, have metaphors to explain what we're seeing now. And we have imagination to imagine what has been through our modern lens and what could be into the future. Uh, we have imagination to use different art forms to try to capture emotion. Uh, and uh, for whatever art form you love most, you'll have works that if you think of sorrow, you'll go straight to a song, straight to a painting, straight to a poem, straight to a novel, straight to a show. Uh, if you think of joy, you'll get a different song in your head and a different image. And so can I just start with the first principle, which is the arts should not only be available to those who can afford it, be it as a worker or as a member of the audience. They shouldn't only be available to those who can afford it. It's really just so great to have a, a, a minister get up and talk about not only the importance of the arts, but the importance of nurturing our souls and the, the value of imagination that's really, you know, I think we tend to forget, actually, I think, in the early, early of our lives, just how valuable that is. Like all media organisations, the ABC now finds itself in a perpetual tug of war between doing what it has always done, doing what it does best, while also recognising that what people want and where we need to be is changing very quickly. Um, so I'm here uh, representing the team. As I say, it was just a joy to work on the newsreader. Um, and so I'm just going to read a short speech by Michael Lucas, who was the creator of the show and one of the lead writers, and Joe Werner. And Michael has written something for me to read to you today. And he has said, thank you so much. The Newsreader is a show that could only reach its full potential on the ABC. Yes, it's a drama, but we've also worked closely with the news department. We've drawn on the memories of dozens of ABC journos. Maybe Laura was one of them, I don't know. And we've spent hundreds upon hundreds of hours trawling through the national treasure that is the ABC News Archives. We told the archivists we were looking for 1980s nostalgia, but the footage they delivered revealed so much about Australia then and also now. So as much as we wanted to make a fun show about big hair and big shoulder pads, we ended up making an exploration of who we are as a nation in all our complexity and contradiction. 